okay so at this point we have our character and we have all our variations on the eyes and the mouth done we've colored it and we're in photo p so the next thing we have to do is prep this thing for animating it how we're going to do that first things first if you're looking at your character right now and you look at the background and you see like over here we've got a lot of like shades of gray and it's not really bright white we're going to go to that layer first the background layer we can go ahead and unlock it it is Control L to get to levels. Control and L, and you should get the levels window. When this pops up over here, we can just move this to the side. You want to look at this top sort of graph that you see, not the bottom one, the top one. We're going to grab the white box. We're going to slide that over till we brighten up this picture. And if it ends up brightening up everything too much in your blacks, uh, the dark colors over here all don't look that bright anymore. We can drag this over to the middle a little bit. But this to me looks pretty bright and pretty good. I'm just going to hit OK. So right now I've got my finished colored piece. I've got my background nice and bright. I want to combine these two layers. To combine those two layers, it is Control, Shift, and the letter E. Control, Shift, and the letter E. And generally, that might take a second or two. Sometimes this part's a little laggy when you do it. Um, you can do it again, but there you go. All right. So now what it's done is it's merged those two layers into one. So it's important that you brighten it up before you did this part. Now that we have it one layer, what we want to do is we want to eliminate all the white area in around it. To do that, you're going to take your magic wand tool and click on the magic wand tool and we're going to click on the white area on the outside. When we click on the white on the outside, you may not notice it, but there should be a little checkered, like dashed line that goes around everything. It should select all the continuous color. In this case, all that background white. If yours did not select all the white for whatever reason, uh, maybe you had a little bit of gray or you see like some of this is patchy for whatever reason, that's when you go up to the tolerance and increase it. My tolerance is already up there pretty high at 129. By default, it's all the way down by like 16. So it doesn't have to be this high, but you just increase the tolerance and try the magic wand again. Once we have the magic wand in the area selected, you want to hit backspace. If you did this correctly, you should see a checkerboard out there, and then everything else should be nice and crisp and um, colored with no extra white outlines. If some of your eyes or your teeth or whatever that disappeared with that selection, then you need to call me over and ask me for help. To deselect this entire area, it is Control and D, the letter D like deselect. Once you're done deselecting, now what we want to do is we see all this stuff has no background. It is separate little pieces, but it's still on one layer. We want to put each piece on its own layer. How we're going to do that, we're going to go to a toolbar. We're going to go look for the rectangle select. Okay, In the rectangle select, what we're going to do is we click and drag with that rectangle select, and it creates a box. You can see it has that little sort of checkered line, that dotted line around it. That's a selection area. We click once, it disappears. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we go through just one piece at a time. Now it doesn't matter how much extra blank space you get, but you don't want to select more than one eye at a time. I've selected these eyes right over here. I only have one layer, so now I'm going to cut it. To cut something, it's Control X. Control X and you'll notice mine disappeared. All right, so I cut it off the piece, Control V pastes it back on. Why did I do that? Well, if you notice over here, I've pasted, when I cut and paste something, when I paste it back, it pastes back on its own layer. All right, so you see that layer one. I want you to right away label that layer with a name, a word that you're going to know. So if you want to call that one your regular eyes or surprised eyes, I'll just call them surprised eyes. But you're going to have a lot of different layers, so you want to make sure that you have them labeled correctly. The move tool is the first tool on our toolbar. We can take the move tool and literally move them out of the way so we don't get confused on what we did already, what we cut and what we didn't cut. I'll click back to my background layer. I'll grab my marquee tool again and I'll go try to click over here. Now when I'm trying to get this eye over here, I'm having a little bit of a problem because I can't quite catch just this eye without taking a part of the next one over there. All right, so I don't want to cut this out with a little piece of that eyebrow because it's going to make a cut out on the eyebrow. A different tool we can use is the third one down. It's called the lasso tool. There's also a version called the polygon lasso tool. You want to switch to the polygon lasso tool. You just switch it by click and holding. 
With the polygon lasso tool, you click once, and you get like a little sort of, I guess, sort of simulation line. If you click again and again and again, it just makes a corner wherever you click. In this case, again, it doesn't matter how much space you take in and around the eye, as long as you're only getting that set of eyes. You'll notice I have a lot of empty space over here, but my I sort of closed out my form, and you can see that sort of checkered line. I know it's a little difficult on the screen. Again, Control X to cut it. It should disappear, and Control V to paste it. When it pastes down, um, it's going to be on a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and rename those layers right over here. Okay. I'll grab my move tool and I'll move that out over there. What you want to do is you want to make sure that each and every one of these pieces of the face, the mouths and everything are all on their own separate layers. So I'll go back, I'll cut this one out, control X, control V, control V, and then I'll give it a name like, uh, let me call this wide open mouth smile you can name them whatever you want as long as they're specific names every single piece again should be on its own layer so I'm just gonna keep going and doing that right now um, it'll take you just a few minutes but we want to make sure that we separate all those things and then very importantly make sure that you save this as a PSD if it's not saved as a PSD everything that you just try to do will be wasted And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'll go File, Save as a PSD. And I'm going to change the name of my thing now to Face Animation. So if you are doing this and getting this thing done, every single piece on the face, the sets of eyes and the mouths, should all be on their own layer. This last layer that's the background is just going to be your person, the blank face like you see over here. And you can always rename that one Face. All right, and that's, that's what we need to do to get set up for the next part.